Well, we are experiencing very cold temperatures this week, and these cold temperatures can bring along dangerous health conditions with it. MTN's Morgan Davies has a few ways you can avoid hypothermia and what to do if you or someone you know is experiencing it. Temperatures are in the teens and even single digits, which can be dangerous, especially for young children or the elderly. So anyone who has an increased risk of body heat loss or a failure of ability to recognize their own body temperature is at risk. Hypothermia can set in quicker than most people think, and if nothing is done to warm the body, it can be fatal. If a person uh, is sleepy, altered, or confused, or they have signs of frostbite, they need to come to the emergency department. But there are ways to avoid getting dangerously cold. It's very important to dress to the weather and to keep an eye on kids and keep a good um, awareness of what's going on with yourself. If you feel or you notice that someone is becoming slowed down, withdrawn, a little bit confused, a little less talkative, is not acting like their normal self, that's a danger sign. Finally, make sure you're moving when outside in these cold temperatures. Even just shivering is helpful as that keeps the body warm. In Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News. Dr. Cool adds that there is no time set for how long it takes for hypothermia to set in, and that's why it's so important to pay attention to children and your own body temperature. While the frigid